All right, guys, this is Tacho here, and we're playing some Hunter Hunter Battle All Stars, and we've got a really, really good update this week. This is probably the best update we've had since the three year anniversary. So go over to the gatches, and you'll notice there's a new button you can press, and we can finally do multi summons in the game. If you press the second button, you'll do 10 summons at once, so it's basically just a multi summon. And there's a whole bunch of new units in the game. There's a new update as well to how you fight on missions. You can do a new cool thing. So I'm going to talk about all of that right now. First up, 10 summons per ticket. So basically one multi-summon is going to get you a ticket on this new banner. And we have three new units in the game. All of them look really awesome. So we're going to talk about them in a second. But let's take a look at the rates first. Okay, so we've got a 3% chance to summon the new Shizuku and the new Phaeton as 6 stars. And a 3% chance to summon the new Zazan as a 4 star, which actually is the one that I want to summon the most, so keep that in mind. We go over to the regular units and we have a 12% rate for regular 6 stars. And there's some really great stuff on this banner actually. Fighter Kaluto is on the banner for the first time in a very long time. And she is one of the best summons you can get, or he, I, I still call Kalto a girl just because that's how she looks like, but Kalto is a man, but whatever. The point is, you can summon a 4-star Kalto on this banner, and that is one of the best skill fodders you can use for ranged attack. So a very awesome summon there. We also have Tanker Killua, the Godspeed one that I love so much. He's a really good fodder as well for ranged attack because he gets it in slot 3. And there's a whole bunch of other really awesome units on the banner too. Then we have a 40% a forty rate for 5 stars. Which is really good because Fighter Kalto is also a 5 star. And a 42% rate for 4 stars which is good because again Fighter Kalto can be summoned as a 4 star. And you can also summon the new Zazan as a 4 star. So that's it for the rates. Let's take a look at the units. Oh, before we talk about the units, actually, we have a new team event. It's Team Leorio versus Team Pariston. I'm on Team Leorio, so hashtag Team Leorio, guys. If you're on Team Leorio, let me know in the comments section, and we'll team up to take down Pariston. All right, but let's take a look at the team prizes you can get. All right, that, that's not it. That's the team points that we have. It's this one here. That's a really awesome artwork there, man. Look, look how badass Jing looks there. Alright, but anyway. I don't know if the team missions are actually up. I'll have to check. But if you come in first to third for your team, you'll get two six-star auras. Fourth to fifth, we'll get one six-star aura and a five-star aura. And then if you can come in 30th place for your team, you'll get two five-star auras. I'll probably come in like 500th place. So what I would win would be two four-star auras, which is still a pretty solid prize. And if you can manage to score 84,000 points on your own, you will get a 5-star aura. So that's a very good prize that you can actually guarantee you will get as long as you play the missions enough times. So that's it for that. But where is the where are the new units? That's what I want to talk about. Alright, I believe this is it. Yeah, this is it. Okay, so we have this new tanker Shizuku. Really cool artwork. This is from when she fought against Pike and... Her clothes got ripped off, so it's a pretty cool artwork there. She's a tanker type, and she's got 7,320 HP, doing 2,550 damage times 3. Very good, actually. That's over 75,000, or 7,500 damage there. Pretty solid attack. As far as her skill, it looks like all enemies are going to lose 20% HP. And then there's going to be a 25% chance that she stuns them for 10 seconds. So a pretty cool skill there. It's not bad for shaving off some HP. And if you can get the stun off, that's really good too. But it's only a 25% chance for the stun. Her support skill is 5 times damage, plus 3 speed, plus 450 defense, and no stun to anybody. Very good support skill, actually. That's really damn solid. And as far as abilities go, she's got SP bonus, map heal level 70, all immunities, no stun, stun duration up level 5, which is going to add 10 seconds to her stun. 
So that means she can actually stun people for 20 seconds if her skill kicks in with the 25%. That's really good. And then she has no push. So this is a very cool unit. Definitely probably the best Shizuku card we have in the game right now, actually. So if you're a Shizuku fan, you may want to go for this unit. Then we have my boy Phaeton here. Jared is going to be going crazy when he sees this card. It's a tanker Phaeton with 7,600 HP. And he does 4,810 damage times 2. So that's also very good. That's over 9,000. <laughs> Not to quote the stupid Dragon Ball Z meme, but that's legit over 9,000 damage there. As far as his skill goes, it looks like for 14 seconds... He's going to give himself 4 times damage, and also, he's going to recover 10% of his skill points. So he's adding to his damage, and he's also making it faster for him to loop his skill. And it looks like there's also another catch here. For every 30% of HP that he's lost, it looks like he's going to add 10 times damage to his attack, and he's also going to add, I think, 50% to his skill points recovered. Wow, so, wow, that's actually amazing, holy shit. Guys, this Phaeton is freaking stacked, yo. <laughs> if he loses 30% HP of damage, then he's gonna give himself 14 times damage and recover 60% skill points. That's insane, holy shit, yo. <laughs> wow, okay, that that's awesome. Burnt by the sun, right? The badass Phaeton, okay. His support skill is 6 times damage, plus 2 speed, plus 2 range, and plus 500 defense. Very solid support skill there. And for abilities, he's looking like he's very solid. He's got all immunities, no push, 25 defense, which I believe is plus 300 defense. Then he has no parameter down, critical hit 90, and no stun. Basically, as good as it gets for abilities, and then in the second ability system, you'll want to give him stuff like... SP bonus, SP4, ranged attack, etc. Stuff like that. Map heal probably as well. And actually, SP bonus on this guy is going to be really broken because if he gets below 30% HP, that means he's looping his skill automatically every time he uses it because he's going to get 60% from his skill and then he's doubling that with SP bonus. So this is possibly the best attacker in the game right now, actually, I have to say. Because he can loop it infinitely basically there, there's no limit to how many times he can use his skill and it's just 14 times damage every single time if he's below 30 percent okay so moving on we've got the new zazan here she's a fighter type with 3960 hp doing 3800 damage and it looks like her skill is for 13 seconds she's giving herself 4.5 times damage and she's also putting up a counter. It looks like she's going to reflect any incoming parameter down skills. And also she's going to reflect some damage. So pretty cool skill there. And her support skill is fighter types and lord types are going to get 5 times damage. Plus 2 speed, plus 3 range, and plus 350 defense. So pretty good. There's a lot of good fighter and lord types in the game. But what's really good about this unit is that since you can summon her as a 4 star... And you can feed her 4 star auras. It's going to be very easy for you to level her up to max. And she has critical hit 90. 32 defense which is a ton. 24 attack. 34 defense which is even more than a ton. 25 attack and then no stun. So this is... This unit was pretty much made for second abilities. All of these abilities here are really good if you want to pass on to certain characters. So this is a very good summon too. All three of the new units look awesome. I'm super hyped right now, guys. I, I gotta... Look. Real talk, guys. Ever since the three-year anniversary and the 70% banner, all the updates after that haven't really been that hype. So, whenever I sit down to record, if the updates aren't as hype, then I'm not gonna be as hype when I'm recording. But right now, today, we have had such a hype update that you can hear it in my voice. I'm super hyped right now, guys. So, I guess that's helping the video a little bit, but whatever. Anyway, moving on to Treasure Hunt. We have the same Treasure Hunt from last week, basically. 
if you still need to farm some stuff this is not a bad one because it's really easy and the drop rates are very good so that's pretty much it to say about that hunter association stuff we've got it looks like nothing new actually well the cluck mission is new because it wasn't here last time but i've done it already so it's it's not new for me and i'm sure most of you have probably done it as well and then if we go over to the events we can take a look at the new stuff so we've got the versus zazan mission i'm probably gonna play this when i'm done wrapping up my talk and we also have where is the team event actually all right here it is so you're gonna want to play this versus jing mission this is the team event and you play these to earn points you want to play the ones that cost a higher amount of stamina because when you beat those you're getting even more points for your team and that's pretty much it for the update actually so we're gonna go ahead and play this zazan mission right now and i'll show you the other new thing that they added you can press this button at the top here in the friends list and it will let you start the battle without having a friend character which is really awesome this is something that I've always wanted to do. I don't know if you can put your own character in the friend slot though if you're building a team. So that's something I'll have to look into. But basically you can start the map without a friend character if you wanted. So that's really cool. Who are we going to take though actually? I guess we can take this Gone. Let me take a look at his second abilities. Alright he's got support all very good. Alright I guess we'll take him. Because I'm going to use him to support Fighter Nov. Yeah, okay. This looks good. So, let's go in here. This is going to be my first time clearing it on Restricted Silver. But, yeah, guys. We're definitely going to have to do some summons right after this video. Because I want to test out the new multi-summoning system. We're going to start things off with Coltopi for invincibility. And then I'm just going to loop Hisoka like a madman. And that, that'll pretty much be it for this mission. If you need any help on beating this mission, pretty much just take Coltopi and a friend fighter Hisoka with six abilities. And you should be good to go. Hisoka can just loop his attack forever, basically. And with the invincibility from Coltopi, you'll be safe even when the opponents put up some counters. Which they do on this map, I believe. There's two opponents on the map that will put up a counter. So make sure you've got invincibility with you. Alright, but yeah, like, I'm, like I was trying to say, we're going to definitely do a summoning video right after this. Because I want to see how the multi-summons work in this game. And there's, like I said, really awesome units this week. So I want to put them to use and see how they work. Hopefully we can summon the new Phaeton. That guy looks so gangster. And the new Zazan as well, really good skill fodder. And then we have that waifu Shizuku as well with the really cool artwork of her being in her bra and underwear. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's another cool summon. I don't even know anymore, guys. I'm just... I'm so stunned that we had such a good update this week that I, I can't even talk straight. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and use Nov's invincibility there. And we're just going to keep on looping Hisoka. By this point, he's probably already at 10 million damage. And let me check his defense, actually. How much defense does he have? All right, he's at 6.7 million defense. So they can't even touch him. We're going to go ahead and use his skill as well. And the, the cool thing about this Hisoka is even if they do kill him, he's going to come back to life with full health. And I believe it's four seconds of invincibility. So they just really, no matter what they do, they just can't touch this Hisoka. We're going to go ahead and use his skill again there. So now he's probably maxed out on both stats. I took the speed up off there for a second because Pike put up a counter. But we still have Nov's invincibility in play. So it didn't matter. And we're going to use Hisoka again. And we're coming close to the final map. Where we're gonna fight Zazan in a second. Comment down below guys actually. If you did some summons on the banner and if you did a multi-summon then definitely feel free to let me know what you got in the comment section. Because I want to know how this multi-summoning system works in this game. 
that's something that always like had me questioning why wasn't that in the game because you play Dokkan, you play all these other gacha games and pretty much all of them have the ability to let you do multi summons except for this one so I was just wondering why they wouldn't have that in the game actually you know why probably because the new um the new manga volume for Hunter x Hunter had sold really well. The one with Hisoka vs. Krolo. And of course the manga is back out of hiatus right now. So I think what happened was a lot of new people came into the game and probably a lot of old players too that were playing the game before but they stopped because maybe the updates were going slow. So there's a lot of people playing the game again because the manga is back and the new volume sold very well in Japan. So there's renewed interest in Hunter x Hunter and it looks like this game is trying to put its best foot forward with really good updates. So that's awesome there. And we beat the map, we beat Zazan. So we're gonna get a couple of summoning gems for that. Okay. So there we go, we got six summoning gems. I'm at 290 so I'll be able to do up to... How many multis is that? Six or five? Yeah, five multi summons. So that's what we're going to do in the next video, guys. So hope you enjoyed it. Hope you guys are liking the new update as much as me. So yeah, this is your boy Tacho signing out. As always, cheers. Have a great day and I hope to see you in the next video.